All right, guys, we're going to do another issue of Icon, issue number five from DC Comics and Milestone. May we bang you? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So we, uh, we're going to continue where we left off, uh, but we're not, we're not jumping right away into superhero stuff. So Rocket is pregnant. Um, her friend found out, then her grandmother. Um, it's just a matter of time. When her mother finds out, and she also thinking about um, Icon, she haven't seen him since yesterday, and it makes a little bit, you know, it worries her a little bit. Well, because he's in trouble, because he met the um, the Blood Syndicate. I know nothing about this uh, group, and um, it looks like a female thing, brick house. All right, and dog with a double G, right? All right, so this guy immediately um, attacks him, but uh, Icon says, hey, I just, I just want to talk, right? Because I didn't want to hurt your friend. So this guy finds out that, I don't know, Icon has some body armor. I mean, where's the body armor? Is this this ring in the middle? It's not really a body armor, right? All right, so he says, um, you got armor on your face? No, I don't. Do you? He punches him out. And the dog is talking, by the way. He says uh, he left me little no. He left me little choice. I come here to speak with you and hopefully to learn the truth. I'm Icon. Duh, we know who you are. We saw you on TV, palling around with your homie the mayor. And since you work for her, you must be part of the cover up. I am not employed by the mayor. He says, save the speeches, flunky. <laughs> so uh, this guy's um, wise son. That's his name. We already know what you're here for. The cops don't come here anymore. We ran them off. And the mayor thinks she can get her territory back with her own personal super cop. So you're going to take our territory from us? I, Tom? <laughs> That's a language that... Could... Man, what happened to us, man? Why, why we are such a bunch of weak people that we cannot stand anything that is a little bit of offensive or offensive at all? Just, I don't know, man. Anyway, so uh, Icon stops in. He says, uh, you're not strong enough. But then Brickhouse comes. He says, am I strong enough? Punches him away. Um, and uh, he crashes down on this car. I like the, the, the debris, you know, the, the sound effects and the, all these details. It's very well done. But then this guy comes in, right? But before we go there, go back. So grandmother is picking up some, you know, stuff on the floor, you know, on the, on the ground. And she's going to her um, granddaughter, and she tells the story that, you know, her um, Rocket's mother, you know, her, her, her daughter, um, she worked, um, grandma worked hard, two jobs, you know, so that she can get away from this hellhole. But then she uh, was pregnant, also very young. And then, well, she must take care of her daughter and also young Rocket here, right? And um, so that means she couldn't get out of this hellhole, right? All of a sudden, I'm supporting not just my daughter, but also a new baby girl. Your mother was a good girl, but she was too young. She wasn't prepared to raise no child. Um, so with everything else, I did most of you rearing too. And uh, also the father, of course, was nowhere to be seen. All right. Kessa didn't do a good, uh, too good of a job. She says, Grandma, hush. This is all I'm going to say. I love you, Raquel, but I ain't raising no more children. If you're going to have this baby, you better be ready to take care of it. I really like this side story, although normally I don't have anything with pregnant women. I think it's a boring trope. Um, to nah, Not really boring, but it's mostly, you know, um, women that are vulnerable, always getting in the way, but, you know... Or doing stupid stuff like, you know, when Spider-Woman was pregnant and then going out fighting bad guys. I don't know, man. But this is very well paced, very well told. And Grandma here says, hey, listen, do you really want to do this? Instead of, yay, let's have a child, right? No, no, no. She's explaining her what could happen to her if she is, or she is you know, prepared to take this child or you know, deliver the child. So Raquel is here in, um, in, in doubt. I like that, you know, she is giving options to a certain degree. Um, meanwhile, this guy picks up uh, 
Icon, but he doesn't do anything, right? But then it seems that Icon recognizes the, his, uh, this guy. Um, he says, I recognize your style of your dress. Dress? <laughs> but Icon is way too strong and he just kicks his ass. But this guy didn't do anything, right? What are you doing here with these children? For matter, what are you doing on this planet? Do you have a ship, a communications device? Why don't you ever speak? We could never figure it out either, but maybe he don't have nothing to say. So it suggests that this guy is also an alien, just like um, just like Icon. I mean, people, for I'm not sure as people forgetting, but I mean, you can read above if you pause the video, you know what happened in here as well. How uh, people get superhuman powers, um, right? And I'm not sure if the Blood Syndicate are bad people, but I think they are because they are willing to take the next step and, I don't know, kill people, which is weird. But um, I like this uh, this very uh, 80s style, right? Or 90s style. Pretty cool. So Icon says, I don't have time to fight with you now. Your friends may have the means to get me off this backward water. Backward award. Which is... I, I thought he was happy here, but it seems he's not. <laughs> Yo, I think you hit him too hard. Uh, so, this guy's going, DMZ. Hey, where's DMZ going? Your guess is good as mine. Your guess is good. Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, I talked a little bit too fast. You know how he is. So, Icon flies after him. But then this woman comes in and she says, flashback. I like this, that everything is now in black and white. And it's basically reversing time. And he is on the ground again. And he's disoriented. So this guy comes in and he sits on an <laughs> on icon because he can absorb, uh, I don't know, energy. And he's getting bigger. But then icon says, you absorb energy. Interesting. Let us see then precisely how much you can handle. And then he's, well, it's lights out for big guy or timber. Is it timber? Let me double check real fast. Third rail. All right. So this guy is out, right? So uh, this creature comes in again for round two. And Aiko says, I am unhappy. And pushes him into uh, this woman that can do the time thing. He says, uh, if you so uh, much wish a battle, let's have it out now. All right. But then Raquel goes to uh, Noble. Nobody, we've got to talk alone. What's so important, Raquel? I'm pregnant. How do you know it was me? <laughs> Did she punch him? Hey, why do you hit me? How do you know it was me? She's pissed off and walks away. He says, damn. <laughs> all right, I like that. So, yeah, um, and, and I don't know all these powers, but it seems somebody can change into animals or something. Uh, so he gets a beating, right? He loses. He almost took us all. And life is almost fair. Almost, almost don't mean, well, I believe the word. Shit. What, so he says, what do we do with him? What do we do with him? Man comes into our turf, damn near whoops us all. And you got to ask? Kill this motherfucker. <laughs> At least it's to the next issue, as in here. All right, I like this a lot. Um, you know, um, I, I, I'm not going to repeat everything that I said in the in the last uh, couple of issues. I'm really liking Icon. This is a very nice. I like the colors. Very, I don't know, old school colors. You know, you know, back in the day. Um, okay, damn, I feel old. Back in the day, they did all, do, did a lot of these kind of colors, and I think it's cool. And the story is well told, uh, but you know. Um, so it, it has a nice blend of personal issues and superhero storytelling, right? So uh, nice blend, nice mix, and uh, good art too. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Thank you for watching as always. Leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, back my comic book. Well, you cannot back it, but you know you can sign up for uh, you know uh, when the when the book goes live on Indiegogo. So I'll leave the link in the description, check it out, sign up, and I'll see you next time. Have a nice day, bye guys, bye bye.